Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly with Sweet Mimi's Creations. A lot of people have asked me to do another video on sublimation with a heat gun. So I have a mug that I have to do. So um, we're gonna start off with that. I've already done my image and you wanna trim it down and you wanna make sure obviously that the paper is on the inside and it's white on the outside and I want and you want to pull it tight to where there's no opening there on the or on the bottom as tight as you can get it a mug is probably a little bit easier than a tumbler you have less to less to um, worry about and doing it with a heat gun you have to make sure and any other way any you have to make sure that your paper is tight that there are no and I'll give you an example this see all that all of that's ghosting. I didn't have it tight enough. And I knew I didn't. Um, but that's what happens when you don't have your paper tight enough. So, so we're going to go around. I have some pre-cut tape here. I don't have a dispenser. You're going to go all the way around. And you're going to do the seams first and then you're going to do the bottom <clears throat> and thank you for back to my channel if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and follow me and you'll get notified when I come up with new videos if you have any tutorials that you want to know about or want me to do please comment and I will be more than happy to do them and here we're just making sure it's really really tight this tape is fighting me today and you just want to pull it and again, make sure there is no air in between. I don't use the paper, the white paper that they put over it. I don't use that. Um, I just got used to doing it like this. And you just want to pull it tight. So now we're going to go across the top. And what we're going to do is I take my tape. And I'll link in the description where everything came from. Which pretty much the mug is a Cricut mug, but it came from Amazon. The heat tape came from Amazon and the image, uh, I think I may have purchased it from Etsy. I'll have to find out. Um, but if you go on some of these groups that offer free files, you could probably find it on there. All right, so what I do is I pull real tight and go around the top. And you will have some that's loose and that goes to show you you know how loose it is so i usually go around twice Let me this out of the way. i usually go around twice real i just pulling it really tight okay and i just 
just tuck down whatever may be. So see, see how tight there's no openings there. But you can see the bottom. See right there, there's opening. So we want to get rid of that. So I usually do the same thing with the bottom that I do with the top. I'm going to start and I'm going to pull everything really, really tight. Go around, pull it as tight as you can, and again, I go around twice. You can never have too much tape on it, okay? Let's see, now what I do is I go around, there are no puffy spots or spots where it looks like it's not to the cup. So now I get my heat gun. I use the heat gun, I don't have a press. And I use a Teflon pad. Let me get all that. I use my Teflon pad because it does get hot and my heat gun. We will go out here and I'll show you. I got a mess to clean off. I'll be right back. Let me clean off my counter and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my Teflon pad because you don't want to burn anything. I have my heat gun. I got this from either Amazon or Harbor Freight. I can't remember. And then you need your mug. You don't want anything around that may burn because this is gonna take a while and it will get hot. So I gotta plug up my heat gun. I open my front door because this apartment, the, and you want your heat gloves. The, the um, fire extinguishers are very, very touchy. So, now you can't see over there. Let me bring the phone. There's some sirens going on. I don't know what you can hear outside, but there's some sirens going on outside. We live right by our fire department. Anyway, so, so the way I tell, make sure I choose to, ah, okay. So I try to point to the door away from anything that may melt. So I just turned it on. I just turned it on. And I'll just go around for a little bit. This will take a little while.
don't forget to get your rims. You don't, even though there's tape up there, you can still get your rims. You don't want to be ghosting.
Okay, we're not quite done yet, but I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see the image. It's hot. But you see the image? You can tell it's coming through. And that's all it is. Sublimation is heat activated. So it takes it takes a minute with a heat gun, but it does the same thing. It does the same thing as an oven. I just haven't bought one because I tried it with the heat gun and um so far I don't mind it. So it does take a minute though. Just letting it cool off in here. And I will and I'm not stopping to do it so that people won't say I'm throwing it in the oven. I'm gonna show you that it can be done the whole process with just the heat gun. So we got a little more to do before we open. I think we're good. Let me close my door. You want to stay about six inches away. 
Um, see that there's a burnt burn mark on the paper. Um, sometimes it'll go through to the cup, some won't. So you just have to be careful. And that's why I just move it around. You don't want to just hold it in one spot. So this is hot. Very hot. I mean, you got to think that gun, I think gets 3, 400 degrees. It, it, it gets pretty hot. And be careful using a, a blade. You don't want to scratch your image or your cup. Okay. Oi. Hot, hot. hot. So now we're going to pull it off, here you can see, and so far, no ghosting, there's a little bit of ghosting right there, right on the very bottom, it's hot, even through here, that's why I say, Get your top and get your bottoms very good. But if you look, there is no ghosting anywhere else except for right there on each side of the handle. But other than that, I think it looks great. And it's still hot, so you're going to have to let it cool. But this is how you do it with a heat gun. You line it up the same way. Just make sure you get your top and bottom. Obviously, I didn't get right there good. But there you have it. If you want to see videos on anything else, let me know. Um, I'm going to be doing one on a full water slide wrap here in a few minutes. Um, and I will link everything below on where I've got all the items for this, which is, I'm pretty sure all of them were Amazon, because at the time, you couldn't go anywhere. Um, but there you have it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helps.